In this lesson, we will start the full course of Fusion 360 2D machining. We will discuss strategies for face machining, for contour machining, for pocketing, drilling and chamfering. But first, we will create a simple 3D cut model. On the basis of the model, we will prepare the toolpaths and NC code. It will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. Ok, let's get started. Fusion 360 has several workspaces, but in the near future we will focus mainly on the CAM workspace. In the CAM workspace we will prepare toolpaths and NC programs for CNC machines, but first let's choose the model workspace. In the model workspace we can create 3D models that we will use in the CAM workspace. Let's start with creating a sketch. Select create sketch button from main toolbar and now we can choose from three planes on which we can start sketching XY, YZ, XZ. Let's choose the XY plane. In the right part of the workspace the sketch palette appears. There are options here that can be useful when sketching but for now we will not use them. Expand the sketch menu and select rectangle and two point rectangle command. This command creates a rectangle using two points for the diagonal corners. To draw rectangle we must indicate the vertices of the diagonal of the rectangle. At this point we don't need to know the dimensions of the rectangle, we can draw any rectangle. And now we can add dimensions. From sketch menu select sketch dimension command, select this edge and type 400 and press enter key. Ok, now select this edge and press 200 and press enter key. Ok. Ok, if the geometry is zoomed in or zoomed out and it will not fit on the screen, we can use the fit button from this view menu to show all geometries on the screen. Ok. Choose the stop sketch command from the main toolbar or from the sketch palette and now we will add the extrude operation. This operation will create a solid model based on the sketch. From the create menu select extrude command or you can select this command by clicking this extrude button on main toolbar. Now we have to select the sketch to extrude. Let's select our rectangle. OK. Now we have to specify the extrude distance. We can do it in three ways. Firstly, we can pull this arrow and specify the extrude distance. Secondly, we can type in extrude distance in this field or Thirdly, we can type in the extrude distance in this field and press Enter key. Ok, now we will add holes in this solid model. We will add them by creating a sketch on the top plane. Select this plane and select Create Sketch command. Now let's draw four circles. Using Ctrl key and the middle mouse button pressed at the same time, you can move the geometry. Ok, let's draw four circles. From sketch menu, select circle and center diameter circle command. Ok, let's draw any circles. And now, Let's dimensions the holes and set their positions. From the sketch menu select sketch dimension command, select 
the circle and type in 21 as diameter. Repeat this for other circles. This command is still active, so there is no point to selecting this again. Ok, now set the positions for this circle and set dimension for center of this circle from this edge as 25 millimeters and from this edge 25 millimeters. Ok. Okay, now using the extrude option we will add holes based on this sketch. Select four circles and pull the arrow down or enter a negative value in distance field. Type in minus 18. Note that the operation mode has changed to cut. It means that we cut out specific piece of solid. Okay. We have four holes and now we add four more holes. Again, select this plane and select create sketch command. From sketch menu select circle center diameter circle and using the center points of these circles draw for other circles. Okay, let's dimension it. Enter 14 as a diameter. Okay. Okay, stop sketch. And to cut out the material, use extrude command. And as previously, select four circles. And you can pull this arrow down or from the extent option we can choose two object option and select this bottom plane as an extrude distance. OK. Click OK. And now we have four more holes. OK. Now let's add the pocket. Let's draw a rectangle on this plane. Select create sketch button. From sketch menu select rectangle to point rectangle. And let's draw some rectangle. And now let's dimension the rectangle. Sketch dimension. Type in 40 millimeters. 
okay 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 stop sketch extrude command select this rectangle and pull the arrow down for minus 10 millimeters click ok and now let's add the fillets in the corners of the pocket from modify menu select fillet command select four corners and in radius field type in 12 millimeters click OK and our model is finished in the next lesson we will create a CAM project ok let's save our model Click this save icon and as a name type in 2D tutorial. Ok, click this save button and our model has been saved.